So we heard the winds, we heard the howling, you heard the warnings go off on your phone. But what's also was in that storm was a whole lot of rain, lots of water falling from the sky. Let's head over to Todd Dykes. He's in Storm Tracker. He's been tracking the high water areas that we've seen overnight. Todd. Yeah, Stephen, good morning to you. You know, certain neighborhoods in Cincinnati are prone to flooding problems, and clearly I'm on a street right now that's experienced that overnight. This is Yost Avenue in North Fairmount. This is off uh, Baltimore Avenue heading toward McHenry, and uh, we're going to go down a little depress depressed area here uh, to a valley, in essence, of this hilly neighborhood. And overnight, there was a man who got stuck in his car in some pretty high water. Uh, you can see right now that um, the debris that's still on the roadway here, it, that's what remains. The water is obviously long gone, but it around midnight. I want to show you a photo that Cincinnati Fire and EMS shared. They posted it online and it was uh, obviously a very scary situation for the guy you see in this picture here. Crews did manage to get this fellow to the uh, out of the water safely. That's the, the key thing in all of this. Um, so but it's still unnerving moment for that man, obviously in a uh, an intense rescue situation for local firefighters. Uh, we can tell you CFD Cincinnati Fire has received more than a dozen storm related calls during the overnight hours. And it's not only in this area. I want to show you a little further west of Miami Township in the Cleves area. We have uh, some viewer video that was sent to us. Uh, thanks to Deborah for sharing this video with us. It shows uh, rushing water pouring out into the roadways into a nearby neighborhood. There was a, a creek that overflowed in that area. This is just, you know, one example of many that have taken place throughout the tri-state uh, during the overnight hours. Back live here again, showing you the debris from this uh, watery mess on Yost Avenue here in North Fairmount. Uh, fortunately, all is well here. That gentleman was rescued who was stuck in his car overnight in this scene. So good news on that front. A flash flood warning in effect Hamilton and Butler counties until 845 this morning and the same goes for Dearborn, Franklin and Ripley counties in southeastern Indiana. Just be careful when you're heading out on the roadways at this early hour. For now, reporting live in Storm Tracker, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.